I'm Jasmine Anderson. New information in the investigation into the alleged Gilgo serial killer. Here's what we know. Investigators are searching for trophies that could further implicate Rex Huerman in the killings of three women. The Suffolk DA also telling us a warrant to search Huerman's truck was looking to find victims' possessions, including their phones and jewelry. Investigations continue in several other states, including South Carolina, New Jersey, and Nevada, looking to link Huerman to cold cases. Investigators are looking at whether Huerman may have killed women in his Massapequa Park home. The Suffolk Sheriff was on CNN talking about it last night. Every piece of evidence that could be gathered, whether it's from the storage containers or from his home, could be valuable not only to the murders that he's currently being charged with, but more importantly, if we can connect him to other murders, whether they were in um, uh, New York or other locations. Police telling us they're scouring DNA and seized materials to possibly tie Huerman to six other unsolved Gilgo murders. I sat down with Newsday's criminal justice reporter, Michael O'Keefe, for a story you'll see only in Newsday. Michael, where do we stand now? Well, the investigators are looking through uh, the voluminous amount of material that they seized from uh, Huerman's properties. Uh, they're looking for any kind of evidence that links him to these murders or other crimes, particularly a trophy, some kind of souvenir he might have taken from the victims. Tell me what these trophies are specifically. Uh, experts say that serial killers will often take uh, personal items from their victims, a locket of hair, a driver's license, jewelry, things like that. And it helps them relive the rush, the thrill of planning and, and committing a murder. Let's turn our attention to the bodies that were disposed, very different from the women that were found in those burlap sacks. There, there's always been a debate among law enforcement as to whether or not the Gilgo Beach murders were committed by one person or multiple people. Um, one of the big Parts of that is that uh, the first four victims found uh, their bodies were wrapped in burlap. Their bodies were relatively close together. The other victims were dismembered. Um, their remains were scattered over a wider area. Michael, thank you so much. So much to dive into with this case. I appreciate you. Thank you. Huerman is on suicide watch in the Suffolk jail right now. He's pleaded not guilty to the murders of three women. Newsday's team of journalists is working to bring you the latest on the Gilgo investigation. Read the latest on Newsday.com. Click get more below the Newsday TV video box. A federal judge denied a motion by survivors of clergy sexual abuse to have bankruptcy proceedings against the Catholic Church on Long Island dismissed. Now, if approved, that motion would have sent 600 cases back to the state court for trials and potential payouts. The Diocese of Rockville Center praised the decision by the U.S. Bankruptcy Court judge. Long Island's water quality has hit a new low, according to a new report. So what's polluting our water? See, the water quality is so dirty, it's so black. Usually we get it in the, the later parts of August when the water temperature gets hot. This year was very early. Beginning of 2014, my lab, the Gober Lab at Stony Brook University, began something that we call the Long Island Marine Monitoring Network. As you can see from the map, of 30 locations, only six ranked good. Uh, and of those, there was only one location across all of Long Island that met all of the state and federal guidelines. And that happened to be the location that's right on the ocean, the Shinnecock uh, Inlet Station. And what you'll see in Suffolk County are the areas where on-site wastewater is being treated and not just going into our groundwater, those areas at least were ranked fair. As soon as you transition into the area where people have on-site septic systems that are draining wastewater into our groundwater, which is our drinking water source, and that groundwater discharging into surface waters, that begins the stretch of the South Shore, which is ranked poor. Despite all of the effort all of the work and all of the federal and state funding, our water quality is getting worse. This is a tragedy. We know the problem is nitrogen from sewage. Nitrogen is like a thief that has invaded our community, set up residence there, and continues to degrade our quality of life 
and hold hostage our future. Read more about the island's water quality index on Newsday.com. Click Get More below the Newsday TV video box. Tonight, Rockville Center's Crystal Dunn and Team USA will kick off another run at the Women's World Cup. The Americans' first game is tonight at 9 against Vietnam. They are looking to become the first team to win three straight World Cups. Good luck. It's back. The Great South Bay Music Festival is underway for its 14th year in Patchogue. The music kicked off yesterday here at Shorefront Park with 10 bands taking the stage. It runs through Sunday on four stages, including one for children. The Dirty Heads headline tonight. Read more about the festival on Newsday.com. Click get more below the Newsday TV video box. The weather could impact the festival today. Here's a look at Montauk. Showers and thunderstorms this afternoon and into this evening and tonight. Here's a look at your day planner. Cloudy this morning, storms throughout the day. Highs around 78 degrees. As for your weekend, it is beautiful. Perfect beach weather with temps in the 80s. Here's a look at your future cast again. You can see the storms on and off throughout the day. That's going to be a major thing to pay attention to today. A look at your seven day forecast coming up. Long Island weather is brought to you by King O'Rourke Automotive Group. Fitness pop-ups are a hot trend in the Hamptons this summer. Elisa DiStefano has a story you'll see only in Newsday. Fitness pop-ups are huge in the Hamptons this summer, and there's big buzz about the classes here at Project Hamptons. Let's go check it out. You have such beautiful things I'm so in glad here. you made it. Awesome. Welcome. This is Curio at Project Hamptons. Over 200 luxury brands mm -hmm. are in this store. So the workouts happen right over here. Right over there. Right over the retail space is transformed to host a variety of workouts. One of the most coveted classes, the Formula by Meredith. My class is a full body 60 minute class, um, high intensity Pilates. Um, a little mix of bar method thrown in there, um, and it's an overall full body workout. The legs are going straight up, straight down, not forward and back. I feel like I've created something where I can incorporate everybody. Even newcomers and beginners like me. Coming in here with the pop-up, for me it's the energy of people from all over and bringing something different and they've maybe never experienced this class before or anything like it. So for me, that's, that's really the best part of it. East Hampton's Stacy Golden is such a fan of the formula and fitness pop-ups, she created Out East Fitness, a pop-up fitness guide of classes and schedules. So there's so many options out here to find something that you love to do. And I started putting this together because I wanted to bring my love of fitness and all these fitness places to the people that are looking for it. You could try a class for the day, but for the formula, it's suggested you sign up in advance because she's a sellout. Ah! Music, the energy, um, just the all-around vibe is, to me, is what I think keeps bringing people back. I made it through. My whole body is burning, but it was a lot of fun. For Newsday TV, Elisa DiStefano. Great work, Elisa. And you can do it, too. Read more about outdoor workouts on Newsday.com. Click Get More below the Newsday TV video box. Feed Me is brought to you by PC Richard & Son. Hot dogs from around the world and you can taste them all right here on Long Island. Andy Berlin shows us in today's Feed Me TV. Hot dogs. A New York icon, food of the people, guilty pleasure, whatever you want to call it. Here on the South Shore of Long Island, they are more diverse than anywhere in the world. So I am in downtown Valley Stream. There are not one, but two Chilean restaurants serving hot dogs. And we're going to see what else we can find. So here we have the regular completo with mashed avocado and mayonnaise on top. In Tucson, where I'm from, they have a Sonoran hot dog and it's got avocado like this. This, I would say, rivals the Sonoran hot dog in flavor combination. 
I'm gonna eat this whole thing. <laughs> Hot dogs are really big in the Philippines and they actually go on top of spaghetti. It's a sweet spaghetti that they make with banana ketchup. Not exactly Italian. Italians look away here. Rain Cards Deli, been around since 1955. Too bad Kevin's not here. Kevin? Is he a hot dog fiend? One time, I ate 13 hot dogs in one day. I was judging a contest. I feel like I'm at the hot dog point of no return here that I have to finish it. We're at one of my favorite places on Long Island, Itkins. So we got Franks and Beans. That's an unstoppable duo. This is a Jackson Pollified, Pollockfied hot dog, Frank and Bean creation. Mm. That is a really good hot dog, like the link itself. I've had a lot of hot dogs in my life, and the classic New York all beef is the best by far. Always. Polish. Polish. So what's the difference in the flavor? You don't know chicken and veal. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Andy's Deli is just for me. In Valley Stream, this is Andy Berlin for Newsday TV. Oh, wait. It doesn't have a hot dog in it. It's just the steak. Oh, it's just the steak. Oh, that's the secret. For more on the hot dogs and where to get them, click get more below the Newsday TV video box. Get more of the stories you've seen on Newsday TV at Newsday.com. Plus breaking news, investigations, things to do, restaurants, and other Long Island news you can't get anywhere else. At Newsday.com, covering Long Island like no one else can. I'm Jasmine Anderson. Happy Friday. Thanks for watching. We'll leave you with a look at your hyperlocal seven-day forecast.